All right, I have known this bird forever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this has just popped up very recently. Yeah. We have a pedunculated mass here with a very, very small stalk. And because this bird is actually quite up in age, we're going to try and, uh, and put a string around the base of this thing to see if we can actually get this to fall off on its own. So that's what it looks like for now. And then then we're going to go in here and fix his beak. Where you at? Show me your beak. Yeah, now everyone recognizes you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're the funky bird with the beak. All right, it is Saturday morning. We're at Bayview. This is my last appointment for the day. Uh, after this, I head to Florida for some more relief help and help with my dad. Anyway, um, this is a, uh, a over 34-year-old bird um, who uh, I had been seeing on and off for a good 15 at least. And uh, it turns out that uh, we actually have... He's painted his feathers there already. That's cool. Um, there is a large pedunculated mass right there on that left wing, right, uh, just right inside the carpus. Uh, it, it's not real hot like inflammation, but the way it's popped up over this short timeline, which has been about two weeks, um, I'm willing to bet you it might just be a feather cyst, but, uh, this guy, because of his age, um, and his, his beak and so forth, I, he just probably is not the best anesthesia patient I could, or best anesthesia candidate I could think of. So what we did was I did a local block. There was a lot of cane, um, and, uh, and I actually went through and did two ligatures at the base of that pedunculated mass. It really is a true pedunculated mass because there's a small space there um, that I had to, to ligate. So right now he's getting his feathers around it, um, which is good news because he's not trying to chew at it, which would tell us it was painful for him. Um, so anyway, this is uh, what it looks like today. If I can actually get a close-up of this. He's actually been a little bit on the shy side of showing his lump. Where is it? Where's your lump? Show him. He's like, no. It's my lump and you can't see it, see? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to get this side. You can't get the other side. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, show us your lump. <laughs> That's funny. I do think he's shy and weirdly restrained about his lump. So anyway, we're going to stop tor torturing him. I did get some stills of it a minute ago. Um, okay, that's what it looks like for now. Miles been instructed to uh, take pictures of it daily and send those to me via Facebook or however you want to do that. I mean, if you do text messaging, you can send it directly to this phone. Okay. I can send text message to you. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, you think maybe I ought to do away with one of the seed bowls temporarily and put the water bowl down lower for him? Yes, that would definitely be a good I idea. I think that would probably, and he wouldn't have to climb so high. Huh? A miracle has <laughs> happened! <laughs> That is so funny. Isn't that funny? <laughs> okay, it is Thursday morning. We're at Bayview. And how many weeks ago was that? Three? Four? Something like that. About a month. Okay. All right. So we got this guy in. He had a large pedunculated mass <laughs> under under his left wing. And you can see it's still hanging a little bit low there. And uh, this bird is in his 20s. And we thought, well, it is a pedunculated mass. You could probably just tie it off the base of it. You know, the old, let's get rid of the blood supply and then see if it will fall off. Well, I'm going to tell you, I have tied strings around things my entire career at some point in time. We do a lot of ligatures. Every surgery report comes with a ligature report anywhere. Anyway, my point is, is we did that and, uh, and I did it twice to make sure it was going to fall off. And I had just assumed that that thing had come off about three weeks ago. And then all of a sudden, while I was playing on Facebook one day, I'm like, wait a minute, maybe I should find out what's going on. And I go and check, and sure enough, there's a picture with birds still with lump on wing. Um, and I'm like, wait a minute, that should have come off three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, we need to see that bird back in. So today I'm here, bird comes back in, and look what fell off in the cage on the way here. Must have been mom's driving, and the bird said, oh, God, <laughs> Dr. Askew's going to yeah. get me again. i got to gonna... pluck that puppy out. <laughs> He's got to be about 34. 
30, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So, again, we're in our 30s. Sorry. For, for some strange reason, 20s is just number popped off my head. Mm-hmm. Um, so, anyway, we're going to catch this guy up um, while we're here. We'll trim the beak a little bit more to keep him mm-hmm. from showing up a little sooner. Um, and, uh, and we'll look at this one again. I'm just, that's just, I, I don't Senior know. Senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> senior, a senior bird citizen, huh? This guy's doing oh, everything yeah. to just drive me crazy. Oh, yeah. And I've thought about this bird. It, you know, for the first week or so, it was every day, several times a day. I kept thinking, where's my pictures? Where's this? Where's well, that? you know, um, I have difficulties with all this technology stuff. <laughs> yeah. Grandma has to wait for somebody to come and sh- <laughs> I did do it by myself the other day. I did send a picture to my daughter, so... Mm-hmm. I'm learning, but, <laughs> you know, it's not, it's, this thing's not a necessity to me. Well, I, yeah. I lived, I lived a, a long life without it. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom. I like it. If I were only that smart. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we put this phone down, get, uh, and we'll catch you up and get some pictures. Later. Maybe an injury. I kept thinking it was...